So friends, now I will teach you a mechanism of apoptosis. This is a second part of apoptosis. Until now, if you have not seen a part one of apoptosis, then first see it for better understanding of the thing. So now I will teach you a mechanism of apoptosis, how the apoptosis will happen in our body, right? So for any process to begin in our body, first you need initiation, right? So first step of apoptosis is initiation of the apoptosis process. And after initiation, finally execution of apoptosis will happen. Now for the apoptosis to begin, there are two pathway of initiation, right? For the initiation, you have the two pathway. First is intrinsic and the second one is extrinsic pathway. Now this intrinsic pathway is carried out in the mitochondria. That's why it is known by the name mitochondrial pathway. And you will have the caspases 9 activation because of this intrinsic pathway. You know very well that for the, apop for the beginning of apoptosis, you need a caspases activation. So through the intrinsic pathway, you will have the caspases 9 activation. All right. Now in the extrinsic pathway, you will have the death receptor activation. This pathway is a death receptor activation pathway in which you will have finally caspases 8 and 10 activation. So this is a very important MCQ. In the extrinsic pathway, you will have caspases 8 and 10 activation while in the intrinsic pathway, you will have the caspases 9 activation. Now because of this caspases 8, 10 and the 9 activation, finally you will have execution of apoptosis. So the apoptosis will, will end with execution, right? And in the execution, you will have caspases 3, caspases 6 or caspases 7 activation. So you can have caspases 3, 6 or 7 activation. Because of this caspase activation, because of execution of apoptosis, you will have endonuclease activation, which is a very important step of apoptosis the name itself suggests endonuclease means it will break the dna so because of endonuclease activation you will have the nuclear dna damage and because of dna damage finally friends you will have pycnosis of nucleus so this is the overview of apoptosis initiation and execution now we will see in the detail about the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway. We will see how this caspase 8, 10 and caspase 9 activation will happen. So first we will start with extrinsic pathway activation. How the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis will occur. So in the extrinsic pathway, you will have involvement of death receptor, right? You have the two death receptors, mainly CD95, which is known by the name FAS. And second one is type 1 tumor necrosis factor. So these two are the death receptor for the apoptosis pathway, right? Extrinsic pathway. Now, whenever you have the stimulation, whenever you have the irreversible cell injury, whenever you have the stimuli for apoptosis, the particular ligand will bind to this receptor. So if with the CD95, if with the FAS, you will have binding of ligand, then it will form a fast ligand fast receptor interaction so you will have the receptor ligand interaction and suppose the ligand will bind with tnf then here also you will have the receptor ligand interaction now because of this receptor involvement by the ligand system right because of the binding of ligand you will have the receptor activation so you will have trimerization and because of that adapter protein will get activated so you will have adapter protein activation that will finally activate your caspase 8 and 10 and because of that the apoptosis pathway will initiate by extrinsic pathway so here you can see that finally we will have caspase 8 and 10 activation and it will lead to extrinsic pathway activation all right so this was this is about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis now I, now I will teach you an intrinsic pathway of apoptosis, which is a very complicated and it is not easy to understand. So kindly focus it carefully. So friends, uh, in the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis, the mitochondria is involved. So first you have to remember that clearly you have to remember that over the outer membrane of mitochondria, you will have the BCL2 
and the MCL1 which will prevent a mitochondrial permeability formation. So you will not have apoptosis normally. These two protein, these two receptor particulate BCL2 and MCL1 will prevent the apoptosis, right? But whenever you have the cell stress, particularly because of two reasons, suppose you have the DNA damage because of radiation, toxin or free radical mediated DNA damage, then your cell will undergo stress, right? Or if you have the protein misfolding, because of this second reason also you can have cell stress. So because of these two reasons, you, you will have the cell stress. And because of cell stress, you will have the activation of stress sensor protein. They are mainly BH3 only protein. So because of cell stress, you will have the BH3 only protein, which is also known by the name stress sensor will get activated and because of this activation you will have the inhibition of this bcl2 and mcl1 so here you will have inhibition of bcl2 and the mcl1 so the apoptosis will no more prevented and you will undergo a apoptosis pathway right the second mechanism by activation of stress sensor is that it will lead to activation of one important protein which is known by the name BAX back right it will activate BAX and BAK proteins so this activation this BAX back activation will form a mitochondrial permeability channel right suppose this is your mitochondria then because of activation of this BAX and back you will form a mitochondrial permeability channel a channel will form in the mitochondria right and because of this permeability channel formation there will be a further two mechanism right because of the mitochondrial permeability channel formation you will have the release of mitochondrial substance particularly two substance will get released the one is cytochrome c and the second one is smac dia blo right now first we will see this one because of the release of smac and dia blo dblo release you will have the inhibition of inhibitors of apoptosis right the physiological inhibitor of apoptosis will act no more and so you will have the apoptosis and you will have the caspase 9 activation the second substance that get released is cytochrome c this release cytochrome cytochrome c will bind to the apaf1 it will bind to apaf1 and so they will form cytochrome C, APAF, APAF1 complex. And this complex will lead to, uh, which is known by the name apoptosome complex. And this complex will lead to caspase 9 activation. And so you will have apoptosis. So finally in the intrinsic pathway, you will have the caspase 9 activation, right? And because of caspase 9 activation, you will have execution of apoptosis so again i am summarizing this intrinsic pathway is a somewhat difficult to understand finally so i will summarize it in a one minute right so in the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis you will have a cell stress because of dna damage or protein misfolding so because of that stress center sensor will get activated and they will inactivate uh, inhibitors of apoptosis particularly bcl2 and mcl1 the stress center sensor activation will also activate a back spec protein and because of that you will have mitochondrial permeability channel formation and because of formation of channel right because of formation of channel the substance from the mitochondria will released in the surrounding right so which substance are released so there will be release of cytochrome c and smac dia blo the smac dia blo will inhibit the physiological inhibitors of apoptosis and so you will have apoptosis by caspase 9 activation because of cytochrome c release it will bind to apoph1 and form apoptosome complex which will lead to caspase 9 activation and uh, apoptosis so this, so this is about the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway of activation for initiation of apoptosis and finally you will have execution of apoptosis by caspase 3 6 and 7 activation so this is about the mechanism of apoptosis. So this can be asked in your exam, which are the apoptotic genes, the genes that is responsible for 
apoptosis or the protein responsible for apoptosis so the first important gene that lead to apoptosis is bcl xs the second one is bax that is a bax third one is bak which is formally known by the name bax back channel right we have i have already described about it and bh3 only protein which are also known by the name stress sensors right so these all four are apoptotic genes and you know very well that which are the stress sensor which are the bh3 only protein so they, that are the beam bead puma and the noxa these four are the bh3 only protein beam bead puma and the noxa these four are the bh3 only stress center sensor proteins right which is involved in intrinsic pathway all right now which are the anti apoptotic genes the genes that will prevent the apoptosis so the anti apoptotic genes are the first example is bcl2 obviously which is present over outer mitochondrial membrane second one is mcl2 sorry mcl1 right third one is bcl xl right fourth one is physiological inhibitors of apoptosis iap right so these are the anti apoptotic genes now how will how will you diagnose the apoptosis apoptosis process so there are certain diagnostic methods the first step is you can do a electrophoresis agarose gel electrophoresis in which you have the step ladder pattern of fragmented dna the second one is terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase biotin dutp nic and labeling which is known by the name tunnel right the third one is obviously histopathological examination in which you have the pycnosis nuclear chromatin condensation right fulgen or acridine stain also can be done so that was about the histopathological diagnosis right the fourth diagnostic method is anexin 5 marker which is a marker of apoptosis fifth is that you can determine the activity of caspase activation by cact fluoro fluorophores that is uh, formally known by the name frat Uh, other method is in situ nic translation as well and the seventh one is membrane permeability check by a flow cytometry method by using a propidium iodide so this is all about the apoptosis hope you have enjoyed the video thank you